hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel thanks for tuning again to this channel i'm sorry i haven't been uploading video these days i'm very busy so pardon that and please if this is the first time of coming across my channel do also like comment subscribe and share drop a comment in the comment section let me know you are watching this video i have other videos on skincare they are actually going to love that you're going to like like they are very informative so do also check those videos and let me know what you think about it and thanks for my 50 subscribers yeah we are halfway to 100 much for finding a reason to subscribe for finding a reason to support this small girl i appreciate and may god bless you so today we are going to be talking about um feminine care so i've always been discussing about skin issues skin issues skin issues product reviews so today let's do something different let's talk about um feminine Okay, so because this is what the channel is just about. If you do listen more to my intro, I do say I do skincare, um, everything you're going to be needing as a lady to look good. So feminine care is also um part of it. So today we're talking about burning sensation while peeing or urinating. So as um it is not new that most ladies feel this like it is a very common infection among women so it is not something to be shy about it's not something to not want to talk about so if you know you are suffering from that then this video is for you because i'm going to be talking about simple um ways natural ways home remedies you can use to just sort it out but always make sure you consult your doctor and your gynecologist before you use anything i mentioned in this video because i am not a gynecologist and i'm not claiming to be one so this is just my own opinion and what i've tried and i decided to share it on my youtube channel so number one is that if you have um if you do feel burning sensation while peeing while urinating then it might be like yeast infection it might be yeast infection so if you if you do feel that then you should consult your gynecologist you know but these are own remedies i've tried so what i've tried is that any there was a time i do feel that often number one thing you should do is that do away with your old panties like your old panties do away with them like buy new sets buy new ones maybe that's the way of telling you that they are whole already so do away with your old set of panties get new one and number two things you can do is that always steam yourself like always find the time to steam it's not only your face that you should be steaming every time also steam like your body your vagina and every part of your body you know there is this thing about some um, korean um, beauty uh, let me just say tips like korean people don't joke with steaming they steam their faces their body like they even have a sauna that they steam their body in it like they'll just sit in it and the place is like you should start you know their body will start getting steamed up and that so how do you steam yourself that in a clean bucket you boil hot water I mean, not too hot so that you won't burn yourself you boil hot water then you pour it in the bucket then you sit on it for like five to ten minutes or as long as you can take and that is what steaming is so also sign you're in a clean bucket in a very clean bucket you might want to wash the bucket even before sitting on it you might want to walk the, uh, wash the pocket to get off all the bacteria and you know bacteria you can you cannot see them with your eyes or you know they're very tiny so you can't say this thing is neat already you know just wash it to be on the silver side so that and if you are lucky enough to have some essential oils at home you can add it essential oils like green tea oil like um lavender oil like peppermint oil like um tea tree oil you might want to add two two drops each of them if you have it at all but i think there is a very good essential oil that everybody should have like it is not just for your um face or for skin it's all round good and that should be tea tree oil and peppermint oil they are very good like tea tree oil you can use tea tree oil to treat your pimples acne skin patches white patches on the skin 
you know, lots of issues, lots of skin issues, ring warm, eczema. You can use tea tree oil, like it is like all around. Uh, it works for a lot of things. Like there is even um tea tree face wash. If you know you have acne or you are battling with pimple, you might want to grab yourself one. I'll put a picture up so that you can see it. It's called um tea tree facial wash, and the major ingredient in it is um tea tree oil. So tea tree oil is very good and even if it's only tea, um, tea tree oil that you have at home if you just add a few drops in the bucket of water and sit on it and you start feeling relieved you know it works for a lot of things and it's good to always steam the vagina whenever you have the chance it's not even whenever you have the chance you should always do that at least two times in a week always do that two times in a week if you know you have that um um feeling of burning sensation after pain maybe you should do that frequently till you, you see like changes you understand and if you are uh, if you do that and there is no changes then you might want to go to the hospital to get yourself checked up because so that is number i don't know the number we are anyway let's just move on so always have tea tree oil in your kit like don't ever have tea tree oil like I made a video that I talk about adding um, drops of tea tree oil and um, peppermint oil in my shea butter, like in the body butter I made, like just DIY stuff, simple DIY stuff. I purposely added that um, tea tree oil and that peppermint oil for skin treatments, you know. You don't know what may want to come with, maybe rat cheese, maybe um, white dots, maybe, you know, there are a lot of skin issues trying to just pour it. Our skin, but tea tree oil will help you to battle it. So, tea tree oil is very good for feminine care and for skin issues. So, that being said, and another thing you can use, another combo you can use to treat yourself from within this will give you a clearer skin, to give you like help you to cleanse your um, womb, and that is a um, mixture of turmeric, garlic, cloves and ginger so you dice the ginger you dice um the turmeric the garlic and the cloth then you wash it very well and you put it in a bottle a clean bottle like um a pet bottle then you cover it up you fill it up with water of course and you cover it up let it ferment for about three days or one week to let it like infuse very well so you do that and after three days or after one week, then you can start taking it. So this mixture, I've used this mixture to, I used to use it sometimes back, but now I'm using another thing. It's not that I, I stopped using it because it's bad, but because of where I am, I don't always get those ingredients. So I just have to try to do another thing with the ingredients that are accessible here. So I'm talking about that too. So if you do with that combo and you drink it frequently, then you will see changes in your ovulation, in your period, because it will help cleanse your body, it will make you ovulate well, and it will, you know, if you do have painful period, black period, and all that, irregular period, is going to help you. So another thing you can use, another mixture you can use to cleanse your womb, you know, when you clean yourself from within, you won't really have so much um, toilet infection. So another combination you can use is bitter leaf and saint leaf. Yeah, bitter leaf and saint leaf can be found in almost everywhere, and they are cheap or let me just say affordable. You can find bitter leaf and saint leaf everywhere. So just screw them. You know, I tried the infusion method, but it's not really. It's not really strong in my own opinion it's not that strong so i prefer when you squeeze it with your hand like use your hand to squeeze out the juice uh, in water just add this quantity of water the bitter leaf and the saint leaf squeeze it together and drink it and if you have lemon or lime you can add um squash of lemon or lime or blend it with ginger it will also help ginger is very good ginger is very good for cleaning like clean, cleaning the wound, cleaning the stomach and all that so you can just make a mixture of bitter leaf, saint leaf, um, squash of lemon and ginger and together just try it and it is also very good so that is that and another thing is that if you know you do wear tights, you do wear pants, you do wear jean trousers, please stop doing that 
because you are not giving your vagina like space to breathe you get just go easy on it you no know? the tights maybe don't wear tights just wear pants and jean trousers you understand so wearing tights wearing pants and wearing jean trousers is like killing yourself down there so uh -huh. and another thing i wanted to say is that tea tree oil can also help you with um shaving bumps like maybe when you shave your armpits or when you shave your vagina you do see some ratchy some bumps maybe days after or hours after tea tree oil can also help you you know how you're going to do that is that after shaving just add um drops of tea tree oil in um, water and use it to rub that area and that is all so i hope this video is able to help somebody out there if you did then give me a huge thumbs up like this video comment share subscribe and i will see you in my next video i have other videos amazing content that you are going to like so go down below watch them you are going to enjoy it i promise and i will see you in my next video till then keep taking care of yourself stay fabulous and bye